Hi, my name is Cedric Ingram. I am originally from Dallas, Texas, and I reside here in Houston. To talk a little bit about my work, uh, I call it urban contemporary, uh, obviously being an African-American. Uh, growing up, I didn't really experience that much art uh, that represented, I guess you could say, African-American art in a, in a more forward-thinking, present context. Uh, it seemed a lot of the work that uh, I saw uh, kind of focused on the African-American pain. And I wanted to develop a little bit more of a sense of kind of where we go from, from here. How do we you know, experience art in that context in a more forward-thinking way? But Storm's Coming has a little bit of a double entendre, uh, double meaning to it, uh, in that um, the, the, just kind of a reflection for, you know, some of the things that have gone on for the past couple of years and how much, you know, turmoil has, has kind of built up and from these things and these issues that we, you know, thought were kind of past but kind of have re, re, reintroduced themselves, uh, you know, whether it be socially or politically. And at the same time, too, uh, it has a little bit of a, of, a, of, a, of a meaning for me with my artwork, and in particular with this show, uh, coming on to kind of this side of town into, into the suburbs. Uh, most of my shows have been kind of in uh, Houston proper, inner city, again, more of an urban vibe. Uh, this piece uh, is my latest piece, which is definitely branching out in the uh, creativity realm for me. Um, a, a definite mixed media piece. Of course, with the, the wood that it's encased in to look like uh, a retro TV. And obviously you can kind of see the dials and so forth at the front and then the speakers at the bottom. Um, just a piece that I really wanted to definitely branch out. Um, I, I'm, I've been on a big kick lately with my work uh, moving from two-dimensional to growing into more three-dimensional pieces, but still holding my bases in oil pastel, holding bases uh, in the level of detail, contrast, and, and color at the same time. And this piece kind of spoke a little bit to uh, anxiety, a little bit, maybe a little, de de a little depression at the same time too. So just kind of processing a lot of things internally. This next piece is View from the Garden. This piece is probably one of my uh, most special kind of, uh, that I kind of hold to heart. And again, another piece that's all oil pastel, uh, more, of a, more of an observative work again. And to tell you a little, little bit more about me, uh, my whole family is from East Texas. And this is my grandfather's, on my grandfather's property. And obviously the two cars here were my uncle's cars and obviously they're sitting here rotten, uh, just kind of just dying. And the, the funny thing though about this shot though is that there's actually a garden in the place where you're standing as a viewer. And hence the term view from a garden. All right. This is real love and another fun piece for me. Uh, Y'all see it's another mixed media piece, uh, keeping the oil pastel as the base of the, of the work um, and kind of serves as the eyes of the tape deck with the stereo. And of course the stereos and wood and uh, the speakers are actually round canvas a piece that, that really speaks to the street urban vibe uh, that uh, is more modern, I think, and, but still kind of having uh, some traditional you know, uh, aspects to it with, this, with the young lady on the inside uh, and the, the level of detail with the oil pastels. Uh, fun color, you know, something to be a little bit more loud with. This last piece is bubblegum, bubblegum, and uh, I'm kind of showing my age, I think, a little bit, even though I don't look 39, but uh, I'm an 80s baby. And I remember when we were little kids, you know, playing hide and seek or whatever, uh, we would all put our feet in the middle uh, and, and 
kind of count off, you know, who's going to start f- whatever. And we'd sing the little song, bubble gum, bubble gum, and a dish, that sort of thing. So.